hey loves and welcome back to my channel as you guys can tell from the title i'm just gonna be like randomly talking um i just want to express myself just vent a little bit and it is it's such a good thing to vent out and it's such a good thing to vent out but sometimes you just gotta be careful to who you vent out to because not everybody is on the same page as you not everybody really feel sorry for you i just wanted to come and talk with y'all for a little bit like just tell y'all what's going on and how i feel and how i'm able to deal with these situations in my life because i'm pretty sure a lot of people are facing similar situations or have faced situations like these what well, have faced situations like this but it's life we're humans we go through a lot of things in our lives it's just you know, ever since after the fall, sin, these are the things that we just have to go through as human beings. But, um, I don't know, like, this week, I just want to talk to y'all about this week. I'm so thankful for, like, the Sabbath. Um, truly thankful for that, like, a day of rest. Like, as humans, we need that day of rest just to not, just to get away from, like, the world. Even though you're not physically out of the world. But just to get your mind off of like worldly activities, worldly things. And it's such a true blessing. This week has taught me a lot. Every day I learn something new. Every day I learn something new about myself. Every day I, you know, every day I realize like, wow, you know, this is something that I have to work on. These are areas in my life that I know I'm struggling on. And this week has definitely like opened up my eyes in so many ways and made me to realize like, you know, this is life and you can't be quick to want to give up and you can't be quick to want to like complain and ask questions. And I'm so thankful for like godly friends, godly family, because it's so much negativity out here and it's like we're over like we're overloaded with such negativity like you turn on the news you listen to certain music you go outside you just hear all these negative things and it can like really traumatize you as an individual when it came to this week i don't know i just thought everything was gonna go absolutely fine i'm pretty sure there's one day out of the week where it's just like things just don't go right and there could just be a week where things just go absolutely right and there could just be a week when things just go absolutely wrong it's life but there's certain things in my life that i'm not ready to speak about right now because it's very personal and i just want to just keep that to myself and it's a struggle and i can see at times that i tend to fail a lot when it comes to how i carry myself how i think how i speak this is just a tough situation that i'm just facing and i'm just like asking like you know asking god for strength because it is definitely not easy but um it's just something that i'm going through right now and i just ask for prayers and you know, I'm praying for y'all. I pray for all my subscribers. I pray that God continue to bless you all, bless your family, protect you all, because it's tough out here and I know it is, but you know, we have the power to overcome anything we put our mind to, especially with the help of Jesus Christ. And I, I know the struggle, I'm human, and I'm not gonna sit up in front of y'all and act like, you know, everything's peaches and cream, which everything is not. Like, life is not how I expect it to be. Life is based on what God expects from me. And his will will be done in my life. Not my will, but his will. And I'm pretty sure God is such an awesome God. Like, you can ask for anything, pray for anything. And if God sees fit, God is definitely going to answer your prayers. If not, that you don't see your prayers are being answered right away is because God has a different plan for your life. Something even greater than you expect. So when you see that things doesn't go your way, don't worry about it. Yes, it's hard to not overthink and feel overwhelmed, but believe me, this is an area in my life where I struggle as well, but I'm pretty sure that the more I pray, the more I trust God, the more I know God will continue to bless me. And as um, 
And as a mother, a wife, a full-time worker, sister, friend, like family member, and trying to do YouTube is very stressful. And I'm just gonna be honest with y'all, it's very stressful because you know, I work a nine to five job and I do YouTube for fun. Like I don't get paid doing YouTube. And believe me, there's many individuals that do YouTube just for the money. And you know, of course, it's such a blessing to get paid for something that you love to do. But sometimes it just doesn't happen right away. There's just a season in your life where there's just like overflow of blessings. And there's just blessings that come you know certain parts of your life but at the end of the day you're alive you're well and that's a true blessing in itself and by me doing youtube like i do it because i love to help other people like, i love to share what i know i'm not that individual that when i know something i'm gonna try to keep it to myself if i'm able to help you i'm gonna help you even if i don't get paid doing it the fact of me reaching out to other people even though I may not see you guys every single day or talk to you guys every single day but the fact that I know that there's just like what 50 people watching me or whatever a thousand people watching me or even one person watching me means a lot to me because not only not only do I feel good that I was able to help 1, 20, 50, whatever the numbers may be, not only am I able to reach out and make someone feel good about themselves is such a true blessing before starting youtube i'm not sure if i mentioned this before but in high school i was in television production and i um i was also i was in television production and also i was doing web design i don't know if that was like my 10th grade year yeah i believe it was my 10th and 11th grade year i was doing um web design and when i got I think the end of my 11th grade year and 12th grade year I joined TV production and ever since I've been in love with like you know editing um, working with different softwares doing things like that so when I got the chance and I started looking at more YouTube videos and I was like wow this is a perfect platform to like share my experiences like share what I know like I'm definitely going to do it and you know if I would have got paid doing it then yes that's good but if I'm not it's just the fact that I'm helping someone that's what really matters the most is helping someone how am i able to help the next person that's sitting behind this screen how am i able to help them and that's my goal able to help someone reach out to someone care for others even though i may not physically see or i may not be able to hear how you feel the fact that i know that wow someone took my video into consideration someone took the time to watch it and someone you know was inspired before I even changed my name to Belinda Cheryl, my name was Inspired by Love. And I still stand by that because I love to inspire people. The love that is in me allows me to inspire somebody else. And if I'm able to inspire you, I expect you to inspire somebody else. It's so much that happened this week. Like when it comes to work, it's I'm so thankful that I'm able to have a job. I have transportation and I'm so thankful that, you know, I'm able to get some sort of income. But when you look at life, it's like, is that what you really want to do for the rest of your life? Like, as a mother, as a wife, like, I have so much I want to do. I have so much I want to offer. I have so much that I want to do with my son. And, you know, a 9 to 5, do not get me wrong. It's good. You get to meet new people. You get to learn something every day, especially in the medical field. You get to learn something every single day. I love the people I work with. Um, yes, we all have our own ways, but you know, that's just life. You're never going to find a group of people that, you know, is perfect. That's, that's not reality. So, um, by me going to work, it's like, you know, I get to learn something every single day, but it can also be, you know, overwhelming because it's like, you want to do so much more. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. Like you could watch, I had to like, literally like stop watching certain youtube videos you certain youtubers and you know i've slowed down on going on social media like instagram you know twitter facebook i had to slow down on that because it's like you see other people and as humans we don't we don't purposely try to get jealous or try to be convectious against our neighbors but it's in our nature like you know you ask yourself questions like okay like why is why am i not this far in life or why don't I have this like you know I'm doing this I'm doing that 
I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to be doing, but you know, things just isn't going the way I expect it to go. Sometimes people could just walk a mile and they get to, you know, to their dreams. Sometimes people have to walk 50, 100, thousands of miles before they get to their dream. Like, you know, the race is not for the swift. As long as you don't give up and you keep on pushing, you're going to make it. Like, you can see your sister next to you, like, she just woke up today and all of a sudden she's like booming versus your brother took 40 years before he actually got to the position that he's been praying for you know everyone's different everyone life is different everyone's journey is different and there's a reason on why things happen the way that they happen and as humans we tend to question ourselves we're just beings that just wants to know everything we just wants to know we just want to be ahead of the game that's just humans we always want to be ahead of the game but sometimes we have to just sit back and let things play out for their own good sometimes there's things we just don't need to know we just have to trust in god and rely on him trust his word and read his word and just basically have faith as you guys can see i have like braces or whatever but i don't know it was i don't know it started i think sunday <clears throat> that my my tooth was starting to hurt and was giving me like massive massive pain i wasn't able to sleep for like two to three days when it comes to your teeth your, if you have like pain in your mouth that's like the worst pain ever that pain is so excruciating it's worse than delivering a child and when you can't sleep and you're like boohoo crying it's like oh my i was to the point that i just wanted to go to the er Obviously, the nerves in my tooth died, and um, now I have to get like a root canal. And I was like, oh my, another bill, another bill that's added on to the multiple bills that I already have. And last month, my son was injured, and we had to rush him to the hospital in the ER in Florida. You sit in the waiting room for two to three hours, and they just do something so simple that you really could have done at home and they, you know, charge your bill for three grand. And that's another bill. And then with the things that I'm going through right now, that's another bill. And trying to settle down as a family, trying to grow, like that's just another bill. It's like bills after bills after bills after bills after bills. And I remember I came home and I, told my mom and I was so upset like oh my goodness like I do everything like I pay my tithes and offering I'm like I don't know why this is happening to me like what's going on and I was like you know crying out to God like what what did I do wrong like I don't get it and I felt myself getting upset with God but then my mom came and she was like Belinda you can't do that this is what the enemy wants you to do the enemy wants you to curse God. He wants you to be angry with God. He wants you to denounce God because he feels like, yeah, you're doing everything that God asks of you to do, but look, where is your God now? But my God never left me. And I refuse to let go of my God's hand because even though you're going through all these issues and trials in your life, these are things to help you to get ready for the things to come. These are things to make you stronger because if we're getting so upset and we want to give up off of these little things, imagine when the big things come around. We won't be able to handle it. We'll be quick to give up. We'll be like, we'll even turn our own family in, our own friends in. These are situations that we have to go through as people, as Christians, in order to become stronger and wiser and do the work of God. Because it's not, it's people expect like, okay, just because you're a Christian, that life is supposed to like flow. Like life is supposed to just go perfectly. No, as Christians, life is going to get tough. Like why would Satan attack these individuals that don't believe in Christ? He's going to attack the individuals that believe in Christ because he's trying to get as much souls as he possibly can. Like if I know you're doing something wrong and I see you heading on the wrong path, I'm not going to bother you. You're going to self-destruct. Like you're going to destroy yourself. But I'm going to go for the individuals that is hard to get to. The devil's going to go for individuals that, you know, that are strong, that are courageous, that are brave because he know it's difficult to get to them. So he's going to continue to attack and attack and attack and attack until you get to the point where you want to give up. But don't never give up. Have faith, be strong in the Lord. It's not easy being a Christian, but it's such a beautiful thing to be a Christian. And sometimes myself, 
you know, I tend to fail every single day, like by me questioning God. I had no reason to question God, but that was my flesh. That was the weak side of me. Talking to my mom and talking to my husband made me realize like, this is a blessing. Even through these trials and heartaches, we are supposed to give God thanks. We're supposed to say, thank you, Lord, for these trials. Thank you, Lord, for these obstacles. Thank you for seeing something that I don't see in myself that you're allowing me to go through this. Like, look at Job, his own wife, try to make him turn away from God. And he lost everything, but he came back 10 times fold with even more than what he started with. So you have to hold on tight. Hold on tight to the hands of God. And even during this week, I wanted to give up. I wanted to like ask God, like complain to God, like, you know, blame God on certain things that were not going the way that I expected. I thank God for my mom. I thank God for my husband. I thank God for like placing these loving individuals in my life. Cause not a lot of people have like loving family or loving friends. Like I'm thankful even though things may not be going the way that I expect it to go, but I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed in so many ways. Yes, there's things that I expect as an individual. There's things that I want as an individual, things that I want to prosper in for my family, for my friends, just to do what is right, to like meet my expectations. That's natural, that's normal for us to want to strive for what we want but we must not forget in the midst of doing so we have to strive to make it into heaven even though things are not going your way and you're struggling when it comes to finance when it comes to your marriage when it comes to your job when it comes to whatever the situation may be whatever the case may be like trust in the lord and i have to tell myself that too you know we have to uplift each other like trust in the lord with all your heart and we also have to remind ourselves that we cannot lean on our own understanding because sometimes we can lead ourselves astray. We can lead others the wrong way and we may not even know it. But it's our duty to read the word of God. It's our duty to trust God. It's our duty to spend time with godly people. And we also have to spend time with people who don't know God. Who haven't really heard about God? It's our duties as Christians to spread the gospel to all around. When Jesus came, he didn't come for the rich and the wealthy. He came for the poor and the sick. People who are striving, like trying to find a way out of no way. And that way is only through Jesus Christ. And we had to understand that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. Like, God is so good, bro. And just by me talking, y'all, it makes me realize, like, wow. God is so good. I don't deserve any of this. And I want more. I'm expecting more. But I can't even appreciate the little bit that I have now. And at times, I focus on the wrong things. And that's why you have to also be careful on certain things that you watch on social media, certain things that you engage in, certain TV shows, certain music. You have to be careful on certain things that you watch because when you see these things or you hear these things, you're going to want these things. And by you wanting these things, sometimes you may do things that you're not even supposed to do, but because of that, that voice is telling you like, nah, do this so you can get that. Do that so you can get this. But we shall only do what God expects us to do. Many people don't see that. Many times I don't see that. But God has a plan and a purpose for each and every one of us. Don't look at your sister next to you. Don't look at your brother in front of you. And you know, don't be a anal to the ones behind you. Like you feel like you better than the next person. 
we're all equal. We're all equal. A king ain't no different from a poor man on the street. We're all equal in the eyes of God. You are a blessing in the eyes of God. God loves you dearly. He sent his only begotten son to die on the cross for us. Jesus didn't have to do that, but he did. We don't have to be ble we don't have to be saved, but he wants that from us. Don't you want it for yourself? I sure want it. That's my goal. Even though I'm striving to be better than who I am today, I'm also striving to make it into the kingdom of heaven. And it starts today. Today is where it starts. Once you have the truth, you've accepted the truth, today is where you start. Forget about your finances. How's food going to be put on the table? How am I going to finish college? My marriage is falling apart. I'm about to lose my job. Trust in God. Sometimes I'm placed in a situation where I was like, oh, I can't, I can't, I have to hold on to this. I have to hold on to this because I don't have nothing else. But if God wants it out of my life, believe me, he will take it out of my life. But he gives us a choice. He doesn't want to, he doesn't want to force it out of you. He gives you the choice. What do you want to do with that? How do you want to handle this situation? How do you want to take care of the situation? What steps are you willing to take with this situation? And I had to tell myself, I can't be depressed. I can't be angry, upset because a lot of things ain't going my way. I have to trust in God. I have to believe in God. I have to know the word of God and the word of God is true. I don't mind expressing how I feel because I feel like we need to hear things like this. People make life seem so good. and Yes, life is good. But what about the hard times? What about the struggles? What about the trials, the tribulations? How can I overcome these situations during these times? And I want to help people. You know, I would, I would love people to help me. Godly people. There's sometimes where someone don't even know about God, but they can help you. God used people in the most unexpected way. That's just how he is. But I love you all dearly. I'm going to continue to pray for you all dearly. And y'all continue to pray for me. I pray that God find favor in you. I love you all dearly. God bless. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.